Hello and welcome to this quick ClinicAid video presentation. My name is Jordan Visco and today I'm going to be covering how to set up and use our brand new online scheduling system for the ClinicAid medical billing software. Um, so I have a demo account set up and logged into over here so I'm going to go into it there and uh, the first things we're going to cover are how to turn on and set up the scheduling and then we're going to move into some user preferences and then finally uh, how to use the scheduling system to book appointments and also bill quickly from within it to make sure that uh, no appointments get missed. So uh, first off let me just say that we're extremely excited to launch this. Um, uh, it works seamlessly with the Clinicaid billing program. It's available everywhere uh, that Clinicaid works. So currently we're launched for medical billing um, integrations in Ontario, Alberta, and British Columbia, uh, and private billing everywhere. Um, so all of the users of Clinicaid are going to be able to access the scheduling program, which is which is really cool. Um, a lot of our new users will have it turned on by default, and we've actually contacted a lot of our users to ask them if they'd like it to turn it on. And you'll know if um, the scheduling system is turned on because you'll have the scheduling tab here on the left and uh, if it hasn't been turned on for you you're just going to need to send us a quick email to support at clinicaid.ca uh, or call us uh, toll free 888-686-8560 and that contact information is all in the contact tab here on our website. Um, so once it's turned on for you, um, if you find that you don't like it or if you ever want to turn it off, you can actually turn it off yourself just in the little admin section here. So if you go to admin and then add-ons, uh, you can see there's a toggle there for turning the scheduling add-on on or off and uh, eventually we'll have more add-ons here. Uh, we're going to have an online booking system that we're going to integrate with it very soon. Um, but uh, currently you can just turn on or off the scheduling module, which is great. So if you decide you want to give it uh, a test but you don't have access to it, just uh, let us know and then if you decide you don't want it you can just turn it off and it removes itself from uh, your interface. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, just head over to click on the schedule tab here on the left and when we do that um, you can see a calendar view but you can see that it says please set up a schedule so uh, we can see the calendar but we can't actually start booking appointments until we set up a schedule in the schedule admin so we'll head in there and so you see when I click that button I went down to preferences here so I'm in preferences schedule admin and um, this is where you're going to set up the schedules for all your uh, providers uh, whether they be doctors or midwives or physiotherapists or optometrists or whatever um, you can set up all their schedules right here in the, in the schedule admin so um, you can see it's st uh, set up at the top here with schedules and then availability templates availability types and appointment statuses and all these are customizable within your account. I like to start at the bottom because um, it's kind of like the most granular way of looking at things and kind of work up. So um, for appointment statuses here, these are the statuses when you book an appointment that an appointment's going to be in. So the first status an appointment's going to be in is booked and then maybe uh, once a patient arrives the, you're going to change the appointment statuses to arrive so that everybody in the office knows the, the patient is in the office and then um, you might have another one that's in progress that maybe they're in a room and then completed uh, meaning the patient has left and then build and then you might want to also have a cancelled appointment status um, uh, so you can kind of uh, see the number of appointments that have been cancelled in your uh, scheduling system. So you can customize all these statuses here. Uh, you can delete most of them. Uh, you can't delete the build status. That's a default Clinicaid status there. Um, you can also change the rotation order. So uh, when I rotate through my different statuses here, it's going to start at the lowest number. So um, the original status is going to be booked, and then when I change to the when I click next status, it's going to then go to arrived. And you'll see how this works when we get into the actual scheduling program. But um, these are the appointment statuses. So these the statuses that your patient appointments can be in. So the next thing up is availability types, and that is um, what the doctor's availability is at any particular point in time. So maybe, uh, you know, we have a few default availability types in the system here. So you might have an availability type where you don't want anyone booking appointments. Um, so that's great. You might have a availability type uh, where you, you only want to do long appointments, or maybe you have an availability availability type when you only want to do like regular appointments and maybe your regular is 15. Um, so maybe you only want to have these availability types but you can add more availability types easily or edit any of these. Um, we don't allow you to 
uh, delete the do not book type just because of the default status again and, and for holidays and things you always want to be able to have a do not book slots so um, that one can't be deleted but they can all be edited uh, you can change the colors you can change the names and you can change the lengths really easily so I'm just gonna leave these here as our defaults um, again you can modify those as you wish so now that we have our appointment statuses and our availability types, now we start having to put together a template. And a template is how a doctor's week is going to look. So you can see here uh, we have the sample template for what a sample week might look for a doctor. And if I click on the edit button here, you can see uh, a little schedule view comes up and you can see that from 9 to 12, um, this appointment status is uh, sorry, this availability template is in place, and then from 1 to 5, a different availability template. And if I click on those, you can see that in the morning here, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., I'm going to be on long appointments, and in the evening, uh, from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock, I'm going to be on regular appointments. And again, I can modify those, change the availability type. Maybe I don't want to you know, be booked in on Monday afternoon, so I could choose that template there. But again, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. You can also uh, move these around here just by dragging and dropping them to different spots, and you can expand and contract them using this. Um, uh, using your mouse here, or you can click on them and actually choose a different start time or end time. All right, so now that we have our, our templates, um, and again, I'm not going to make any changes to the sample template there. I'm just going to use it. And uh, you can have as many different types of templates as you want. So if you have, uh, you know, you work some weeks uh, on one template, different weeks on a different template, you can do that as well. Or if you have multiple doctors in the office and they all want their own templates, you can, um, you can add in as many different templates as you'd like. So then the last part is to set up a schedule for a particular doctor and apply those templates to that doctor's schedule. So I'm going to click Add Schedule and I'm going to choose under Schedule Type. Um, you can choose to set a, ske a schedule for a provider, so that would be a doctor or midwife or whatever. Um, and then you can also choose to set a schedule for a resource, and so that would be like maybe a room um, that has a schedule. Um, so different people might be using the room and you might want to set a schedule for that. By large, most people are probably going to be setting provider schedules, so that's what I'm going to start with here. So uh, I select provider and then a little provider um, drop down or a little provider box shows up and if I put my cursor in there it shows me all the providers in our system and I'm just going to set a, a schedule for John Doe. Click create. So now I have a schedule for John Doe but I have to apply some availabilities to it. So I'm going to click on this little time icon, the little watch icon there and I'm just going to add a template. So I'm going to add that sample template that we had and I'm going to say that that template's going to be applicable from the beginning of this month, so March 1st to maybe um, you know next month to the end of next month. So for that particular period of time I as a doctor I'm using this sample template and I'm just going to go create. And there you go. Now uh, John Doe has for these particular dates that template applied. And if I then go to the schedule page I can see that uh, John Doe has a schedule now and I don't have any other schedules set up for any other doctors but you can see that this week March 15th to the 21st I have um, in the morning I have long appointments and in the evening I have uh, short appointments and I can go ahead and start booking appointments okay now that I have my appointments set or my uh, schedule set up and I'm ready to start booking appointments, I might look at this page and say, hmm, um, I'm looking at 15 minute intervals here, but that's not what I like to practice in. I, my office, we like to practice in 10 minute intervals or half an hour intervals. Um, and so that's where we get into user preferences. So uh, before going into booking appointments and, uh, you know, all these different uh, day, month, group views in the schedule, we're just going to talk a little bit about the preferences that users can set. So if we head down to the preferences section again, and instead of schedule admin, if we just head to settings, um, there's a schedule setting here. And these settings are per user. So every person that logs into Clinicate has a username and password, and each of those user accounts will be able to set their own settings. And so settings are are things like, um, you know, who's who's uh, what's the default calendar view um, right now it's week that's kind of our general default one for the system but you can say you know I really like the day view or I really like the month view um, and you can choose that as your default 
You can also choose a default time interval. So this is where you would be able to say, hey, I like five minute or 10 minute or 15 minute or 30 minute appointments. Again, I'm showing 15 minutes currently because that's the default in the system. You can also have a default event status. So um, that's going to be when you're creating appointments, what's going to be the original status that those appointments um, end up in. And uh, there was if you remember there was priorities on the event statuses so by default it's using that priority system but I can then modify it if I want and say hey everybody who's going to come is going to be arrived um, or every appointment I'm going to book is going to be arrived or some other status that I might have created. Um, you can also have a default schedule so if you had multiple providers your default schedule might be John or it might be um, you know Dr. Ontario or, or whoever uh, your providers are. And then you can also have a default group schedule. Um, and there's a little group tab. When we go back to the schedule, you'll see it in a second. It's who you're going to be looking at by default in your group. Um, and you can select you know, the number of doctors that you want to see as a group. And so that would be for large offices when you're booking appointments for um, many doctors at once. So those are the, uh, the, the account specific um, or user logged in specific settings um, and that'll help you modify your schedule view so uh, you know if you're looking for 10 minute or 5 minute appointment intervals you can you can view those okay well now we're gonna head back um, to the schedule page and we're gonna start uh, booking appointments here and right now it's 1 15 so I'm gonna book an appointment at 1 30 today and if it's a 15 minute appointment here, I'm, I'm viewing 15 minute intervals, so all I have to do is just click on the slot. Um, if I wanted, I could create a longer appointment just by you know, extending the appointment here, just dragging it out longer. Or I could create a different appointment, but just by choosing a different end time uh, and, and uh, selecting one from here. Um, when I'm creating an appointment, the default status that I have is booked, but again, I can choose any other status that I have in my system. Um, I can give it a description, so patient not feeling well, or uh, you know, something more specific might be might be better. And then you're going to select the patient from the system here. And so uh, at this point, I'm going to um, I think I have a patient called John John Ontario in, the, in my test system here. Um, when I select the patient, it lets me know their name, their healthcare number, and their birthday, just to confirm that I have the right patient. Um, and I click create. And there you go. Uh, I have an appointment now for uh, John Ontario. Um, now this appointment, as I said before, if I click on it, I can see the status, and it's this teal color, and it's booked. And um, if I hover over this little icon, it tells me that uh, the status of the appointment as well. Now if I click on that, it's going to change to the next status and I can see that the patient has now arrived and the color is is um, purple. So you can see once you have a number of different appointments booked in your system you're going to be able to have a bunch of teal appointments if that's the color that you've cho chosen and then when patients arrive you're going to see that they're in the purple color here. And then the next status that I have is uh, this P status in progress and the next status is this C status which is completed. So at the end of the day you're going to have all of your appointments completed and then you can go ahead and start billing them. Now before we start billing appointments I want to show you a few other um, nifty things you can do in this schedule. So if you want to move around an appointment here you can just drag and drop it to different locations. Um, makes it really easy to do. If you want to double book an appointment you just click on the uh, same slot there and it will create an appointment at the same time. Um, if you want to extend the appointment, say that um, you know the doctor feels like he's going to spend extra time on that one, you can again extend it or contract it just by um, grabbing it and, and changing it. Uh, again, you can also click on the appointment and change the appointment status at any or appointment end time or start time at any time. Uh, it's really easy to do. So uh, right now I'm viewing the uh, week view. If I wanted, I could also view a day view and um, you can see here that I can see still my appointment availabilities as well as all the appointments that I've booked and if I wanted I can view a month view for this particular doctor and it's going to show me all the appointments that I have and this is a good one to use just to get a quick idea of 
uh, you know, have I billed all my appointments? Are they all in the build status in the past? Or, uh, you know, are all my appointments in the future set up with the appropriate statuses? Um, but it's uh, not something you're going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis because it's, it's not as time-based, it's more day-based. And then we have the group view as well, um, and I don't have multiple providers set up, but if I had multiple providers set up, you're going to be able to see, um, you know, multiple providers day view on the same page. So we'll head back to week now. And uh, let's say this appointment with John Ontario is now complete, and it's the end of the day, I'm ready to bill it. So all I have to do to bill is click this little um, icon here with the dollar sign, and it's going to pop open a new page. And this is a page you'll definitely recognize. I'm in an Ontario instance right now, so we're showing Ontario codes, but uh, it'll work in, in any, uh, any province. And all I have to do, the patient is already selected, the provider is already selected based on the provider on the schedule. Um, this patient actually had a default code already set, so that's great. Uh, and all I have to do is click Add, Add the Line Item, and click Save, and I'm done. And you can see now that the appointment has changed status to build. And so at the end of the day, I can look through and just say, hey, are all my appointments in this case green? And because they're all green, I know that they've all been billed for. Now say I wanted to just double check and make sure that I build for that appointment, I can actually click on this B button here. Um, and it's now going to show me a manage invoices report for that particular uh, invoice. And I can view the invoice here and edit it. Uh, make any changes that I want to it before I go ahead and send it off. If I'm ready to send it off, I can just click the send thing, uh, the little send icon there as well. And you'll also find this uh, this invoice obviously in your manage invoices report, your default manage invoices report. So you can create all your invoices if you want and then send them from there at the end of the day. And I'll just close that page and go back to my schedule. So the only other things to note here is just kind of like moving around uh, from date to date as you're booking appointments. Um, you can cycle through the weeks here by just clicking these little right and left arrows. If you ever want to get back to today's date, you just click the Today button. On the left-hand side, we provide you with a little um, schedule here so you can you know move ahead to this week or uh, that week. Uh, again, if you click Today, it'll bring you back to today. And uh, you can always see the current date right here. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. So uh, like I said, originally we're extremely excited to launch this. It works everywhere that Clinicate is available. Um, right now it's free for all of our users. Uh, eventually we will have a small monthly charge for docs that want to add it on to their um, billing program. But uh, we really hope that uh, you'll enjoy using scheduling with your Clinicaid billing program. And again, if you have any questions or if you need uh, to turn it on or if you need any support, please contact us through the contact information on our website, um, customer support, support at clinicaid.ca, and here's our toll-free numbers. Thanks for your time.